Which means we do get to see some duelists, you know, wrong, Makes me a little bit happier. Set up what looks like a fairly fast hit okay, so Fury on defense, GE on attack, fast B or fast B split, and retake so of B, heavy playing over to towards the right endeavor. side so they don't get hit by the knife that is most Start common on this wall. Shot goes in on the most common trips. That should break two of the most common trips. Yeah, knife goes over towards here, doesn't hit anyone, and that's lovely. Wait for them to take it and kind of use their wall against them. Look at the HPs, though. That sheriff on MW0 is going to be so damn scary. Repositioning from Blaziken to have a crossfire setup together with his teammate. Wait, That's his shock dart can be big. Grab another one. He's going to turn his attention towards him. MW0 good with two. Oh! It's going to be good enough. Triple oh, by me, MW0. Oh, close. To MW again, man. We said this that, that sheriff is going to be scary when everyone is so damn low on HP. And it is just that. MW0 showing no signs of cooling down or slowing down between <laughs> maps <laughs> now. And as Fury get off to a flying start on a breeze. Question now goes towards Meow Zero balls. sounds so wrong how though, they look bro, to or and how this eco is going to be tailored. MW Zero just sounds sick. <laughs> we see, start, start to see some smiles already from him, from uh, the uh, furious side. This goes here. It's good to see. GE decide to force up and go for the exact same thing. Spectres and Sting is around. They're going to try the same strat again. I like this, Pavlos. I really like this. And this time yeah, this could work out well. We've got no trip to actually stop this. Is, however, with MW Zero there, and they're with expecting the a swing over towards Wolf. They're expecting Marshall by, and that is an incredible oh, slash. Doing work with his bulldog still holding his ground. <laughs> oh, damage onto Russ, not quite good enough. Trades are pretty decent. Skills, but it is GE that have equalized the score when in terms of the player's life. Well, down to the three versus three now, Pavlos. It's still damaged players on GE, but this time the weapon's looking a little bit better. Lightning fast on the back, Whoa. but Blaze King finds first shot. Blaze King wanting to go in for more, but having, having none of that. Oh, oh, way the wall just so came good up. To react to that one, but that lightning is ridiculous, the timing on this. So it looked like the flash the of the hit on our eyes, but again, it's the, the animation of the wall. When you pop the wall, it's actually what? instantly well, up instead of us seeing the animation. So the timing of this wall and popping it was... Everything, literally the whole the, uh, round. So bold call. Cool. Definitely, if I'm looking at Russ already, I'm seeing him do a few things where uh, he'll call. If something fails, he'll call to do it again. He definitely likes that. Way Level pegging once again, and Global showing us that potentially they've been able to adapt to their breeze. Potentially, Pavlos. It's got a bit better than the last time we saw it. I think it's a statement telling Furia, there's no resting, guys. Yeah. You think you guys have an easy round? No. You've come to our home ground. You've come to India. Double you Sheriff, and honestly, that's a big indication once yeah, you see this trim. Well, maybe the rule of the jungle uh -oh. there is, uh, skills, gets ready <laughs> skills to of a rifle, I'm a little bit worried he's going to overstep his mark, but... Um, I think I just saw a bird fly. <laughs> it surprised me. Uh, anyway, Furia. Uh, what are they going to do with this one? Sometimes you want to take risk on these pistols, and that's what MW Zero is doing, but it's not a collective risk. Sort of trying to see if they can ease out an advantage somewhere. I was able to do just that. It's a fairly slow round for the time being. G realized that Fury have got to address somewhere and MW Zero, he's sort of probing, he's breaking you He's doing good over towards B though, he's creating a lot of pressure. They knife in and, and they only see one in terms of the KO, so again, this is one of the better knives. G trying to sell KO's great on this one. Four person stack here, I'm a bit worried for G. No kill trips or anything over towards Saint. Snake bite to at least hinder some of the places that they could be hiding out on. The Fury being patient on this one. Trying to see if they can surprise them. Maybe obfuscating the movement. A lot of people here. No, no plant yet. Honestly, Russ really needs Russ to get involved here. He needs to help so out his team a bit. There's one player looking this direction. It's difficult. Yeah, Havoc having the better hand. For going fast there, time, I felt the same thing. Blaziking the turn on to the other side. <gasps> Conan keeping it close. Oh, but no oh, upgraded oh, weapons oh, yet. Polvi with a Vandal on a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Pretty close. <laughs> it is by no means pretty, <laughs> pretty close on this one. No means at all. However, Never in doubt. They managed to they save a rifle, but yeah, that was uh, one, real close. Just walking into the full person stack, this felt like the shots were there. Funny fin. 
So I think Russ has improved from an IGL from Guild. Honestly, his IGLing in Guild was really good. Go. Guild really Let's under go. delivered on the big stage, well, man. In practices, Guild would uh, would be really impressive. A full buy from either side. Russ looking at that null command as is Poldy. Plus, he wasn't uh, he wasn't full IGL back then as well. And Hunter Skiri for Blaze again. That are going to be the big difference makers in this round. And the Global Esports now they start setting their gauge to A main, a position in which they've neglected thus far in the map. Furia, it seems to be on the back foot, so no money to spare. They can't risk being too aggressive here. So, MWZ Zero's position right here has two aspects to it. One, if they do push through mid, it's an off angle that yeah, sometimes is Bonkar and then Kodam. It's a crossfire yeah. opportunity. Two, it's a really quick rotate position, right? Wherever the fight commences, he can get there quite quickly. So. For this one in particular, G moving it towards his A site, you might expect MW0 to move into the double dual setup quickly enough, and that will allow them to have a full player defense onto A. That's it, will land. I mean, we saw what full player defense Yeah, the one pass and fake with the KO is kind of interesting. Like I keep doing this a lot. Khalil flashed out of the position, a bit of a fake being sold here. Oh my goodness, how did he. Oh, how did they know? Impressive. Oh my goodness. Not yet spotted. Opportunity missed. And that means that GE are ahead, 4v3. How much Conan on the zone? Holds his own. MW Zero is there to assist him though. Lightning fast trying to move forwards to get into the set position. MW Zero denies it. MW oh, Zero coming alive. Skills this will never remain. Just something else, One isn't of three, it? Two players alone from Furia. Oh, Kaleo. Yeah, very nice again. Finds the headshot. Needle within the haystack. And that's Furia. Someone else in this team needs to, <laughs> needs to step up though. I need to see other people. Other people stepping up. It can't be this solo. 13 HP, 30 HP. A lot of these chosen close though. And Furia, thankfully, MW Zero is still around. A great execute, a great retake from him there. And for Global Esports Fabulous, it feels like they're quite slow to plant the spike once they actually get on to these bomb sites. Yeah, they were slow to plant here. It's not wrong. Out comes the first operator in the hands of Holby. This goes here. And with a neural theft to accompany it, Furia, what there. are they going to do to potentially counteract this? MW0 oh, this would very nice. much like yes. that operator should this probably commit there. to it. But it may very well just be a blade storm round from him. Might be a mid push, a very a quick mid push. Polvi gets, Polvi gets the attack, marshal out as a backup gun for his knives. Late take a bit. Late take a aim. I mean, they're sending it in A main. Oh my god, they're actually sending it. That was really nice from Fury though. They dashed out into the smoke and then, uh, and then I think have it right click to flash as well, so they could double swing into it. That was actually a really nice push from them. Pretty well organized. Always good for one. He wins the cutlery battle. It goes down to a 4v4. Definition of finish acrobatics. It might not get gold in the Olympics, but Polvi's definitely showing there's some skill in this country. Did he that, that connect? Here. I feel like it did. It may have. Well, we have to be careful though. He does only have 40 HP, so an overextension here can be punished very quickly. <laughs> Furia. Here. Might be catching Polvi off guard here. No, instead it's Khalil to pick him up instead. So all of a sudden, this is right kind of nice though. He brought a lot of rotates the off. They have no idea just how much he owns. Yeah, I mean, he's now they the do because Ross is just like, why the hell are there two at middle? Global, it's a good mine. This is one of the more doable 2v4s. I like that they realize that they're probably going fast behind because they've had a main control as well in terms of them having mid control. They plant for behind and then they can kind of. It's a good plan for bridge, round. basically. Oh my, that's a good shot. But Fury reading it, meaning that they can play from two positions here freely. Not so much on that that's one. That's going to mean that also Fury picks another round. Fury are very proactive at the moment as well, which is pretty, pretty that nice. On Polby didn't, well, the attempt at the operator on Polby didn't quite get the mileage it needed. And I raised, I raised the question when he got the marshal. There was the option there for the rifle. It feels like that marshal was to accompany a blade storm. Yeah. It felt like for Polby there, he was half committed. Hey, Razor joining five. Yeah. <laughs> it's you know what's being said this year? No, no oh, idea. This nice one. Yes, this should that goes there. Oh, GE nice. fighting Pavlos and 
They're fighting well, to equalize things right now, because Fury has found a couple yeah. of rounds in a row, and Fury with momentum is a dangerous tiger. You want to talk about momentum? Russ has that no command. Fury, so globally Fury with money set up as well. Extremely quick execution here. Yeah, really important However, round for GE, yeah, otherwise they equal, exactly and Fury's money is going to be a little bit out of control. They are anticipating Global to thrust themselves into a site as quick as possible. Spike dropped. Yeah, but they do take a pull for now. Respect given over from Furia. And uh, a movement towards elbow here from the attacking side. Very passive from Furia, actually. You are powerless. No command. Activated. Affecting many players. GE has been using uh, Rush for fakes quite a lot, but this time. Okay, we're gonna have to see a retake of this site. Direct hit onto the B site. And we have Silver for it. that. And that retake is gonna be Popped it pretty early. Let's see how much space they can get. Well Keep an eye on the Cypher, the Cypher jewel in the middle. Okay, so Skills wins that one out. And Austin and Spam the wall here. Holding out onto the side, Russ, sideline. What a swing by Havoc. Flashed out of Wait. their minds. And that Conan is even giving them more firepower. Holby goes ring around the Rosie, but has got so many players. He's oh got to deal with Havoc. Oh my goodness. How on so earth well did they lose that There's in no 4v3 with the 4v3 with the Cypher all going down? What a retake from Havoc there, Pavlos. He dances around that pillar. He uses both his flashes and Russ's flashes, actually, to position himself. It allows him to get center sight, pivots around pillar. The flash off the, the KO flash. Fury, yeah, I think he just needs to right click. The first operator of the game I mean, on MW it's hindsight because I can see like where they are. Think of anything scarier. I couldn't think and of that was a bad round to lose. A really That's costly a round to lose as well. That's, That's like one for the bug review for sure. Well, they're not really not fighting for anymore, are they? Yeah, because there's no chance they get into the final. This is but, yeah, yeah. Fighting for the glory. Fighting for bragging rights. Yeah. I like the fact that GE have gone for fairly early timeouts. I think one of the curses they had in their game against Gen uh, against Vitality, sorry, was that when they were calling their timeouts, it felt like it was already too late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely an ad adaptation from them. And Map one vod. Uh, let me check. Like I'm not sure who's entertaining who. I feel yeah. like I feel like the crowd is entertaining us more than yeah. we are. <laughs> yeah, we're we're mis spectators. I, I genuinely. I, I think, think they should be on a payroll, not us. <laughs> well, well, Rahul is like 90% lung. <laughs> like, that's, that's genuinely all he's made of. Yeah, some yeah. number. I'm pretty sure he sounds louder than the rest of the crowd. Yeah, combined. <laughs> and, and by the way, this is me throwing shots at the crowd. You guys got to be a bit louder. Yeah, got to be louder. Got drown him out. Come on. <laughs> GE. It's going to be a bit of a shaky buy. Bulldogs come out. There's the odd sheriff here or there. It's certainly not what you want to wield going up against the revelation of the operator. It's a low buy. MW0. And MW0 he's not off. going to waste a second in going aggressive here. Man, they really, are, aggressive they really are the fans of B failed. But I mean, they're getting over towards the site when they go B. Cypher has to do a lot here. That's one. Has to kind of stay alive. Still has a trip and cage. Not bad. And camera. Shout out to Skills here. He's taken a lot of space and he has the hero gun. That's enough. Skills. He seems to have outpositioned Fury here. Having got fairly deep onto this site, he's going to telegraph that to the rest of his team. That this is clear. I think Liazzi knows how much space. I mean, he should just tuck in here. That's it. As long as he doesn't overstep his mark, he's played in, in alone, like so insanely well here. Giving GE the space, yeah, and then letting you know they can plant. And this is weird. Look at where everyone is. This is actually a bit scary. Pretty sure NW0 has heard this. That's why he's so yeah, he's so confident that there's someone here. He definitely heard. And he heard this middle. He's waiting for a team flash that never came, I think. Maybe not the chance here, especially when Skills gets another. Traded by Cronin, and Havoc is doing his work. Russ, Sheriff. But at least he's got the spike planted for him. Try Ross, big to flash. dance around these pyramids, but oh, no. Send. It's completely overwhelmed, Khalil. It's a nice shot. Still a, still a relatively that, nice round. I feel like Skills is actually doing pretty good on the back so. Further. For Global Esports, the timeout did not work out. And with five rounds to play with... Is this the, uh, <laughs> the mid-flash you're talking oh, about, Am? Yeah, I didn't actually see it, but... Back on the board. Hey, definitely the didn't hit the mark. I, I, I do believe it would have been for this next round, right? Because the previous one, there were Sheriffs, Bulldogs, wasn't quite the most favorable round for them. But I'm liking the way they're playing around the map. Maybe with better... 
guns in their yeah, arsenal yeah, to have a see. better chance. You could see it was flashed on the screen. Out, at least getting a bit close to the fury. The half's not over, right? Uh, this is interesting. We're kind of half, some people are no, asking about this yesterday played. as well in terms of the half. attack arm. And I think it's good to bring out every so often. I don't do maths, I'm a carpenter. Now comes that operator for Polby as well, so we are going to see the first operator duel of this map. This is really nice. You see, that again, this camera, I think, is going to start becoming, like, one of the more common cameras. A camera that literally just spots feet over towards A main. Like, that's so strong. Yeah, but if you don't check the camera, you're never going to know if anyone's pushing up to you. Got a little bit unlucky on the timing, but... Now without their lurker skills. Rush spotted. Respected. Furia are giving a lot of respect to GE and giving them so much space. That's it is. GE now with a uh, a man deficit. However, that Viper's bit available for lightning fast could very well be the difference maker, at least in this retake, especially when it means that MW Zero is going to lose impact with that operator. Colby swaps out weapon, getting ready to dart onto this site now. Yeah, they keep getting the really important kills over towards the middles. They don't have yeah. to kind of worry about any of this. The after plants over towards A have not been going good. Uh, they never really seem to get the plant down that fast. Like, this is another example. Spike's always a little bit far behind. To be fair, we haven't really seen him probably zero on operator today, and now we're showing oh, oh, he should be on that it. big gun. Three kills. Now this team hasn't needed to do nothing. That's why they've made space. That's not why they're not taking any confrontations because they're like, MW Zero, I think we've got a treat for you. Just come over here and get a kill for me real quick. I feel like that's the whole mentality of it. And because of that, not a single player on this Brazilian side has taken any damage this round. That big gun, Pavlos, that big scary gun. That big scary Fury and that big scary MW Zero, who is going to bring six to Fury now, guaranteeing at least a draw in this first half. As Global East 12 to 5, he is putting up ridiculous numbers Fury at the moment from this. Them tick. Do you know what's scary to me? I don't Every time I see dolls like that in, you know, not in a store fashion, you know, wearing, yeah. you know, clothes, showing off clothes and stuff. I always think of Weeping Angels. I don't know if anybody knows a reference yeah. out there of Doctor Who. I always think of Weeping Angels. If you, st if you stop looking at them, they'll come after you. <laughs> so every time I see something like that, it just scares me. And W0 scares pause. me, Pavlos. <laughs> yeah. He just has, he has full control. And if we look at the money as well, people are starting to reach the 9k marks. Trade's always good over towards B as well. Oh, it was nice. I'm pretty sure they got a tag with it. Well, with very little damage done to the remaining four players, G once again have to reevaluate how they attack here through the wall. Blazer can strike back. We actually, see, we actually see something happening in tube. Out, he is mortal. And it's actually a really big play to go for that. Now to be got fair. An to try and take over. What it's all, it almost looked like when I was watching MW0 there that he kind of yes, okay, forgot you could get shot for that. Even after the dink came in, he was like, bro, what? How am I getting shot? Accompanied by Blazer King. Only Conan to worry about. Oh, Rush is going to really affect Conan here, and the fact Five that down, B. I do believe Blaze King had his recon out, couldn't shoot back, but eventually Blaze King is definitely shooting today, though. A 2v2, and with Spike going down, and a rotate coming through from Lightning Fast. It's a good plan for the Viper roll. Especially with the Viper roll. Uh, worrying thing about the Viper roll is there up. isn't too many Mark places to hide, though. All of a sudden, so they might get spammed, we'll Angles see. Angles do not matter. Fury have got to wave their way through the green ooze to get onto this site. Can GE finally get around? What is the timing for Lightning Fast to watch Furia this? forever hold the lead. In and out of the Viper's pit, Liazzi takes it down. Fury, I want to deny this. All down the place a recon. King. Spike in his realm. Viper's pit returns. In he goes. <laughs> Gets one. Doesn't realize he's done damage for the second. Base kick swings. And oh, oh, man, it's really nice round for him. He won the big 1v1 over Double towards B as well. It's kind of a bit of a solo play in this for back. sure. The grey, green, and greasy ooze happens to favor them this <laughs> time around. And every time we cut back to the G fans, another Valorant agent is there to support them. This is not fair at this point. Not only is Fury playing against the GE, they're playing against another set of players, another set of agents, and an entire crowd as well. Is that a marshal that the Viper has? Yeah, I think so. Well, the Eco's going to be sorted then. You've got an extra marshal to play with. 
It's a very good eco if you've got an Odin as well. It's, yeah. Uh, you know what? I quite like this. Yeah. Is this not both of their timeouts? Into their own timeouts. Mm -hmm. it, it's unorthodox, no. sure. But it could be that they want Furia to sort of sit in the sit in the revelry that they've just lost a one versus two, having almost immediately lost to the Viper Souls as it was committed. You know how all these five agents could make up a team? Wouldn't it be a very practical one, right? Two duelists, two, two controllers, and a sentinel. I mean, it's better than the ones I'd find in comp in my solo queue endeavors. But that's, that's, <laughs> that's because you're silver, Pavlos. I'm not. I'm diamond. Come on. Are oh, you now? Yeah. You actually are silver. Yeah, now. I am. Oh, all right. You've improved, improved <laughs> since when we played. <laughs> <laughs> we need to play more, mate. We need to play more. But still, back in it. MW Zero, another operator to work with. Three rounds left. Chat, what is, is Diamond? Army Diamond's above that, right? Telling. Diamond's below us. We'll I, I don't know even sure in these days. It's Pavlos, Diamond then Ascendant, right? His null commands. And for GE, a, what looks like another default here is mid seems to have been eluding yeah. GE yeah. for quite a while here. They've not really put too much pressure there outside of trying to get through door. Yeah, man, I, I wish I knew what Bacon was, man. <laughs> yeah. Remind, remind me next time I play with Bacon to check his career. But this time around, Furia are looking through it, pressuring in through double doors, potentially, occasionally diving past it. But as soon as the poison cloud has made its way in that direction, you can see that. Okay, interesting the from G. They've done both their timeouts, even though they won this round, the the round before Very they did slow. both their timeouts. But I think that makes sense because in terms of like the macro, they weren't really doing great. Right that was more of just a solo play after winning the round. So uh, the timeout does make sense, yeah. Like he's setting up for an execution to A here. Actually, with that mid control, oh, oh, he's, to try and he's one of the doing incredible things. He's done this so many times. And honestly, so Liazzi stalled towards shower, uh, sorry, towards uh, door here towards so inside. well. The double melee. And Khalil doesn't really, really need to show his presence. He's got so many positions he can hide in. He's yet to be checked. Conan is there to assist. 30 seconds Gee, left. Taking so much time to try and clear all out. There goes Khalil. He's made his position known, but all he needs to do is wait for his team here. And that's exactly what he's done. Polvi does take him down. Polvi doubles up. Polvi triples up. How Polby gets in return of his own. And we're still on level footing. With Blaze King coming in from mid. Blaze King needs to get involved, bro. There's 10 seconds. He's got to get to this site. He's made a lot of noise, though, Blaze King has. And Polvi knows of his position. Spike will be going down. They've got more time to work with now. Blaze King coming out on top, which means MW Zero is going to do it alone. If there's anyone to do it, it's got to be him. Operator. Not the best weapon in this situation. Oh, you can see Blaze King going all the way around again. This is nice from Blaze King. They don't realize it's a good point over towards B main. And they spot him. Not keeping him an inch. Waiting for Blaze King to come in, and that's really exactly nice. Done. Blaze King looks like a different player from the other day. Gap, boasting up the score, up to four rounds. Remember, Pavlos, for every operator that's reinvested by Furia here, that economy is going to get pummeled very, very quickly. And for Global Esports, the option to retrieve it for Polvi, or the option just to continue with this rifle is theirs to make. I believe they retrieved it for Polvi, and for good reason. Do we know the MW format Zero for the regular league? No, away really. from these duels. And the man himself, Polvi, absolutely saving the round really. for GE there. Look at the old management we have no as idea well. What's gonna happen. All sorts being racked up. As we go Do into we our end? 11th, as we go yeah, into we have a start 12th, date, that's it. I believe that it's this going is to the, be This was the camera that, again, I said is pretty strong. Yeah, big, uh, you big have no idea there. if you've been G, spotted to push over towards him. Uh, but now he does. So they can actually shoot the ping. The that and that, that kind of gives him the information that he's been spotted. Let's be fair, in a close fashion. Still, good hopes for them. Ovi. Oh, boy. Good college try. Oh, he's hoping for the timing now on the jump spot. What angle does he commit to? MW Zero also looking to commit to an angle, this time though through Miz, an angle which has brought him great success. He's been spotted. I see the ping come out. So far, even. The speed side of the fortress, I'm telling you. Two wires, Sova as well, that will reveal you. Even behind smoke, Conan delivers. Khalil can't quite find it. Instead, he drops while their opponents shoot upon his teammates. Ross doubles up, but wow, here is Furia. 
have Blank, it managed to, it? to get two there as the well. They're pretty good at flooding. It feels like over towards the site, even though the site is maybe not period. getting a they lot of so kills, the delay is always there. Like, they're Absolutely always living, amazing. which just means that everyone else can well. kind of flood in. The buy a time over towards the back of the bees is just what seems to make the difference a lot. Once it was recovered by Havoc, he was able to shift his gaze back to the lurking member and to make sure that Furia don't accidentally let Global Esports back into the rounds here. Three ults apiece for either side, and as we enter the final round of this first half, Global Esports want to mitigate the well, damage online. the lead Furia have ascertained. We're on 15 7. At least so uh, everyone from Furia is trying yeah, to get a little bit better. Finding fast though, finds first blood, and it might actually be quite eight. a good mitigation because 75 scores. Very much turn around, but. Wow. Havoc on site, trying to delay, but Russ is having absolutely none of it. Oh, barely oh my goodness, nearly a team there. Exactly. And I believe it was a team. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, actually. All the more reason to dodge it, Pavlos. <laughs> yeah, because that would have been dreadful. Wait. Oh, oh my Russ. goodness, that was almost Man's a god. Happy <laughs> right like god shock dart. Right, That's cool, I didn't actually realize that. Nice. Not much. Khalil shuts it down. Okay, chat. 2v4. This is everything, though, because this is at least one kill. He's all the way behind them. They've got no idea. He's waiting for the second one to reveal himself. Khalil alone, but not Khalil. Nicely done in the end. Five wasn't too bad. I also like that they mixed up the person that was lurking here, right? Because Cypher had been lurking the whole time. So when Cypher's with the pack, then you kind of stop looking at the luck itself. MW right, you just, every single time if Cypher's the only one that's lurking, that you feel like you only sure. need to call if the Cypher's with the pack, so I like that they put the uh, Viper into it this time. Sunset, from the looks of it, Pavlos, he can, Still felt just, like um, Furia were really in control of this, it felt like a nice half from Yes, Global Esports have been recovering, yes, they have the support of the fans, but for Polvi in this 1v1 with MW Zira, unfortunately it's the Brazilian who's coming out on top. Coming now to the defense, Polvi really needs to step it up. I'm going to put caution to the wind here and kind of be the, the defense that GE used last time was so aggro race. that Often I'm hoping they start the complete opposite and then they the start playing aggro late. That's where they found most success. Because if Fury watched their demos, the like the they're just the pushing the whole so time on defense. Will do close up the gap and do so I would like to see GE play pretty passive and then start working or like pushing. Because as soon as they get the ball rolling, they don't stop that easy. No, they do not. And I mean, we saw it yesterday against Vitality. Once Furia had their momentum, <laughs> even Vitality couldn't stop it. And at the moment, they're one of the favorites to win the tournament. Hey, Alice, what's up, bro? I mean, How are we doing? No, they're not gonna... Oh, Vitality? Yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 Vitality, sure. Pavlos. Oh. Brain, not braining. The, the yellow one, not the red and, not the red <laughs> and blue one. <laughs> All right. Thinking time before we enter the second half. Furia and GE giving us a great fight so far. The first map. To a lot of people surprised going to GE and uh, to be fair I don't think people blame I, I wouldn't blame the doubters right I was one of them. GE probably needs the best though really wars. they didn't have the best result in their first the attack series. you can definitely this snowball morning. a little bit but giving us reason to doubt those initial thoughts oh there's a lot and actually believe this is nice though it's wall they well, they recon in front of the wall and they knife close so you SA kind of check Pavlos. everywhere with just this little bit of util oh, that's, oh, 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 that's an opening give me some of that oh, finish magic show it oh, to me the baby. flash Bobby dash doubles up they really and went for that like that, that was a little bit drop to three <laughs> it's a little and bit on their bold. attack Towards this A site, I mean, gotta yeah. think of something Trust trancy. The Havoc finding one, three v five. More fathomable. Rust to the other side. They're losing player one by one. The job hasn't finished yet. Instead, it's GE that might be in trouble, given that Rust is isolated. Oh Leazi, boy! Nice shot. That means that Furia are oh now boy. in the driver's seat. Two versus three now. Damaged players on Furia. Remember, this is the exact circumstance which Global Esports lost. Oh, three go left and they're reloading. Down no to way, Shot I cannot two. believe Fury win this Spines one. Holy, they really fluffed Fury. it over towards Sain. I mean, nicely up. done. Is yeah, it I mean, yeah, they got so many here? Polvi, it's fast and fashionably fresh from our fin, but with only two kills, it's trying to follow it up. It's trying to stop the actual attack, which comes onto that bomb site where Fury were able to get the advantage. Seems like the team overheated after that success. I thought uh, maybe they believed that the round was over and didn't really give the benefit of the doubt to the rest of the remaining players. Solo Viper is viable only on only on Breeze. Don't be doing okay, anything crazy one. in rank. Oh, sorry, don't know <laughs> someone, someone should text us. So yes, anyway. we got the translation yeah. for that. Tweet to us, we need to figure that out. What does that mean? 
Okay, so Fira should be pretty fine to just run away with this, you would feel like. They're allowed two deaths into this one. GE doing the, the old school GE thing of just buying no, nothing into this one, really. Said though, it's Furia back off. They set their gaze to be a site which only Russ no, is going to be there as the defender. Definitely not ideal and a good read by Furia. That Ultra didn't spot out anyone, so I don't think they're quite sure of how empty the site may be. Yeah, it's it did, right? Oh, I like this read as well. Huge flank through mid. Conan's got to be careful. He's the only one. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice call from Fury, well, to be honest. One person sure. fake with the drone. And they were always well, ready to insane. cancel their B here. So. Might be a bit early to say Pav lost, but this is possible. Nah, look at the HPs. Quite early. The HPs, they have good map control. Yeah. The only worry is it's not planted for <laughs> if it's gonna be possible, the map it's gonna be control. Difficult. One. Depends how well they're able to co coordinate their efforts, especially with the poison cloud in their direction. The fact that Fury know exactly where they're coming from cannot be easy at all. Wait, how many did that knife hit? Yeah, yeah, the time is ticking. They're just trying to deny weapons here at this point. Spike is going to explode. Yeah, I think that was probably one Ooh, of the better things to do like on this. this. No, they're denying orbs. And uh, with that, yeah, not too to bad as well, especially when we have someone that's like relatively that. close to I really uh, like that. That's a smart way to play. And bearing in mind the mileage that both these teams were able to give. <laughs> it's a fashionable man right Someone there. Someone clip that. <laughs> <laughs> but bearing in mind that when it comes to these old orgs, Fablos, the alt management has been very effective. Says it's Wait, done very well, this? especially for the Furia towards the start of Breeze. Okay, the big buy round for G. Identifying that, and trying to mitigate that is a very yeah, very the bonus is looking really good. Like four rifles, one share. Looks like a looks like a V split from the bottom mid though. That was on Conan. Very aggressive in uh, the mid stance here from Furia, although there's a lot there to sort of figure out this actual approach. Camera spotted. I don't know how much info this camera got though. As a matter of fact, where GE tried to push, he said, like, they do take this aim aiming control. And with this pressure on the right hand side, Furia. Oh, I talked about GE being very aggro. Oh, so they even go deeper this is this is exactly many. what we're it's talking like about. We've got that. double info trip over towards this. So. But now it all falls down to the Viper Ooh. to stop this. Skills, opportunity missed to pick up the first gotta relax, skill, bro. but ends up with You gotta relax. Oi, oh, look at that team play though. Oh my god, skills are crazy. Harper. Going for a molly. Cannot reply enough, but he's still got some damage in him. Look at now the flank of Holby's coming to fruition. Only a Vandal and Guardian to work with, but getting onto this site is going to be the problem, Pavlos. Yeah, they have them locked in. I mean, GE would have to overstep holding the for them to lose us. Playing this one together. 30 seconds left. Is, oh. here, you're exposed to all sides. Nice. I mean, they give it a good attempt. They, uh, they win their spike trade right at the same time. That's and great. that is the round for Global. It's a great response from Global as well to realize that without the mid control, they have to push somewhere else. They commit to that A main presence once they'd already shown uh -oh. that they backed away well, they from that A main position. Really, really strong stuff. And now the Fury have realized the second they leave a position, Global are just going to take it and go for the fast flank anyway. What do you do? You've got to span out, you've got to go into these defaults, but that falls against the Fury of playstyle almost, where you send an MW0 to just kill everyone. Got yeah, doesn't look great. And with that, Fury up. I believe they might be crumbled economically as well. Yeah, makes sense with the timeout. And with that, this uh, Fury aside, Definitely looking a bit troubled. Yeah, I'm t when it when it turns into a two-hour game. Nine is the score. No Half time wrong. seven five. Two rounds by Furia for one with a pistol on the follow up global. As soon as they get guns on the board, they're right back in the fight. Pavlos, I you, I'm no detective. Why are we standing? Because we sit down all day, bro. And that's your answer. Yeah, well, there, there you go. <laughs> no, a brief technical pause. Hopefully we'll be able to remedy that shortly. Bearing in mind that for Furia, their economy is not in a good spot now as they move into the 16th round.
fourth global esports. They've had success now in this um, oh, in these last couple of rounds. They've had success with the rifles, but the challenge now is going to be repeating it. The challenge now is having the success with these rifles once Furia have rifles of their own, once MW0 has an operator out. That's really where we're going to see the true test of global esports attack. Defense, even. I apologize. Yeah. One of the things we really haven't touched about is the fact uh, of Russ, you know, um, playing with Colby, right? The, uh, these are yeah. two players in the global esports side being brought over from Northern Europe. Now, yeah, okay, might not have been in the same teams, but kind of looks like we're getting back in. Relatively fast. That region very and close, damn, bro, so this is uh, being able to play with this is old competitors night and day and now being compared to the other days we've had. Is, uh, um, Massive round, really. They have actually played together. Especially, I mean, yeah, Furia yeah, still yeah, run away of it together. pretty much if they take this and, round. But uh, if G, you get this. Yeah. Back in 10 star. Yeah. Okay. Back Never in mind. Star. That's a while Never ago. Mind. That's, it has been a while what ago. What the hell is that right now? Furia. Is this the one that bounces Two down and then goes to the top to of this? That hunter Furia on Conan. Outside of that, though, yeah. it's going to be an Oculus round and a fast round as MW0 is hey, going to accelerate onto B. A lovely shot to open the round. Power Bloss instantly traded by skills. Early plant goes in. We have no alts for this. We have a drone, a recon for the retake. Fury have a lot of map control. We definitely gotta look at Cohen and going for the flank here. Feels like no one's even expecting it. He might have two here. Yeah, he's got two, surely. Attackers. Conan though has got a flank in the making of his own and Havoc finds the opportunity to just peek out. Blaze King, surely this is where he falls. Or elects to fall back at least. Furia answer back and that's going to be double digits for the Panthers. Furia look unstoppable there actually, just bouncing off one another yeah, within the angles is, of that beat site. And for Global Esports, it feels like once they had the information on mid that this was going to be a execute, it felt like half the players committed to fighting for it, whereas the skills and Rust, they backed off and it meant that they were sort of caught in the crossfire there. A the tactical dart. I mean, yeah, it, it did miss. I mean, it is meant to, like, slowly hit the top of the roof of the, um, the wire over towards B, but it just went slightly to the left. But it is, like, one of those ones that is meant to, like, take a long time to land that you can kind of get through the choke point as the person shooting the dart is, like, watching. But with a crowd like this, Pavlos, anything is possible. I mean, even without a crowd like this, anything is possible. Yeah. I'm going to remind you, Fnatic played against Loud on a home ground in a finals <laughs> and uh, came back from an 11-3. That's very true. And won the tournament. That sounds like a pitch for Furia. <laughs> right. I think the fact that Fnatic was able to achieve yeah, that Yeah, Furia win this, they get 12. It's kind of dumb. Can be, uh, you know, They're going to walk contact out? Overturn. Oh my, that's oh. fast. Clean shot from Paul, the shine down MW0. It's a nice Max flash. Bounces off the floor Furia. here straight up. Cowering, hiding back in A main, and is instead making a really good reposition from him as well. And set their gaze back to mid as Bobby looks to really even further. Wow. Bro, he's 50 HP, and they're flashing him in. The thing with is that you never know when he's going to push the, 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 the gas to avoid the brakes. Yeah, <laughs> right. That was so risky. He slips, hit the wrong <laughs> that was so, so risky. As well, now lightning fast. That's Bruce great info as well. Those Syria players right. are a little bit more play close with... than anticipated. However, Snake Bites are going to buy you in one time. Oh. Skills, though. You peek the wrong angle, immediately stops. <laughs> we'll peek the wrong player, if you will. Lightning fast. Sneaky. They know he's there, but do you expect him to fall back or re-aggress? Goes in for more. Lightning fast. He'll take that any day. And the rest <laughs> Fair play. He kind of messed up the jump, which saved Three him, to be honest. Three rounds of difference now with Furia. Blow for blow now. These teams are going in this absolute brawl of a series. Remember, Furia, they are fighting for survival within this series. Global Esports, they are fighting to show the world that no matter where you come from, these guys are going to be able to beat you. I mean, there definitely were a lot of question marks with the building of this roster. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of people wondering where players are from, what are they doing here. But it seems that, you know, Global have done their scouting right. They've gone their, done their research and brought in quite the skillful lot here. And even without Benkai, even one, without one of the greatest players that have graced Valorant. What's on the Viper the team, orb? Looks okay because you can stand on it on the ledge and I think you don't show. Like, you can play around well, it a lot. Seven. Job not done. Six. Required. It didn't look Global, that bad. Three required for Furia. Even though things have also, been going like new for stuff blow, that people haven't the seen, that can it can be kind of strong. Is Furia. For Global, they need more than what they currently have. You're absolutely right. These three rounds are going to be so damn crucial. Bearing in mind that the, we have a buy here. A one rounder? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Round after that is a buy. 
It's the first and third round in the next three, which are going to dictate the victory. So, timeout for Furio. GE use both That's of their timeouts, but you can talk in each other's timeouts. GE coach can speak as well. Into that first one with a timeout <clears throat> is certainly going to help. They got a they lot of ults. They are well. eco though, to an extent. Havoc. I mean, Havoc, by the way, he was having an incredible game at the moment. Is certainly going to be the difference maker, especially when it comes to mitigating the uh, weaker weapons for Furia here. Clear idea here from Furia. Attack his right hand side. Honestly, it feels like they're going to use that ult if they tag someone. But Paul v, he might be a bit close to this action. Oh, he's found himself. <clears> I kind of like this idea with their wall. Trying yeah, to find that little gap with their wall the at the top there. The he wasn't seen though. He wasn't. Povey is so crazy. It comes to flash. flash Lovely assistance. adjustment from them playing anti-flash. So you cannot that is bold, so close so bold, against bro. Peak from two Man, I've never seen that. Directions. Still, Russ Povey come out on top. Russ again. GE looking so strong on this defense. Russ unrelentless. Havoc having to stare at his teammates dying. As he falls victim I mean, they to put death an as well. Into this. Conan gets flashed out of his <laughs> mind. Might try <laughs> oh, and buy no, an extra no, kill no. here. Guys, 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 oh, guys, guys, relax yourself. Of that one. Don't give it to him that easy. No, oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, oh. At least Conan tells him beware, but GE oh, win the round. Not the best. I guarantee you, Coach <laughs> Spin is going to be having some strong and colourful words for the entire team for that. I just remembered. What's that, Pavlos? Spin also was in 10 star. Yes, he I was. wonder why Polvi and Russ are in the same roster. It's funny you mention that, Pavlos. I think there could be a connection. <laughs> oh, management once again going in favour of Furia now. Almost neck and neck between these teams. Polvi bringing out an operator of his own. There we go faster. MW Zero, who has had it's a fast piece split when you they take over towards middle. At least in the I'm second sure. half, it's going to look to try and. Uh, We'll recover it here. A lot of pressure coming in from mid. Seems that like G have it all covered. I mean, Fury have a lot of map control. This is kind of nice. There still is... I mean, this, this is the attack so smoke, so right? So I kind of like their default. Well, see, they uh, pick, the, they have the smoke down towards the bottom. It blocks vision, and then they pick up the smoke, and then they throw it over towards here, here which then blocks vision to them going into the window, and then they just cut sound and create pressure like they could have gone into window. I guess is a nice round from here. Polvi may be trapped. He might be, but he gets out of harm's way for now. He's low in health, but it seems like a pivot from GE. Oh boy, lightning fast has to do a lot here. Only about 35 seconds from him. Well, Pavlos, they've got to move quick here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they might have been quick enough because Golden Skills is there to start shooting upon them from this distance. He has it. Trading. Three, he has three, to get one, faster. really. He here, and he hasn't got any help. He's got to do it all by himself. Oh, Accurate go. with a headshot. Spike drop. He's buying well. time. Can he buy more? No, MW Zero puts him to his grave, but Liaz has got other work to do. Well, I don't think Blazing is going to expect this. He's being treated right back. Seconds left. Low his HP. Carl Wait, the spike, he's done it. He's done it. He's got to stay alive. Oh he must have oh picked this up. Oh, my God. Oh, God. One split and one second and Holy. one round now is all that will separate oh, the man. two of these teams. What a round from Polvi. So, what wait, what happened to the elbow well? there? He picked up the spike and then went all the way down the lane instead of going to the site. Uh, Pat Coates, thank you so much, man. Appreciate the night. prime. Thank you for the six months. There is a reason this crowd Appreciate is so you. loud, Pavlos, and it's around like that. Yeah, because the spike was down here. The, so MW Zero gets the kill, but then he went like and this Furia instead of to the site. Because maybe he's scared of be scratching their heads. Main? Absolutely Either right. way, here Fury's Vandal, default here was cool, straight up. Uh, you know, smoke, smoke, block vision, you gotta look at the ult create pressure, well. was then the make a call, left, then cancel. The Fury and the so you know that someone has to be over towards to here, and then they're going wherever you make the pressure anyway. So yeah, it's pretty sick round. This feels like a, uh, this feels like another tech though. Probably somewhere in Helsinki. Oh They're probably goodness. still frosted. Can we get to see this again? I think we can. This is brilliant. This is gorgeous. 
It was a back and forth round as well. Absolutely, and the fact that we saw Liazzi get sort of into Focus position this. to outmaneuver Blazer King as well, that should have sealed the deal, Pavlos. So smart from Liazzi. We all thought it was done and dusted, but then that. Oh, just nasty. Just wow. nasty. This, this is truly good Valorant, and whoever wins this, honestly, you can applaud both teams, but yeah. Furia, for sure, are looking to ha have a better result in this one. Definitely don't want to be knocked out of a tournament, uh, you know, losing to a team that they should be favored coming into. There what is, I think of skills is a sick. Um, I, um, I, I think putting Benkai in is definitely going to be an upgrade, but I think he's doing great. Like, here. he's doing good. The, the fact that we're taking maps team. off people we're with a stand-in is, advantage. like, a good sign that he's good. Furia should be winning this very comfortably, Pavlos. <sighs> I mean... There's quality in Global, we knew this. Absolutely. But it's the matter of having well-known names, right? Yes. And I think yeah, Global... Are making some people that haven't had the most of experience. The one hero in gun. And the hero stage, guns on the Lux, they're gonna create a lot of pressure Absolutely. towards here, and then the Lux can go fast on this. It's gonna have to be down to the blade storm and the fast execution to this A site into the operator to try and win this battle. Hobby doesn't hit the first shot, and that's gonna be crucial. There are sheriffs available for the Furious side, but most importantly, keep an eye on the one gun era. coming up through door. Does anyone expect no it? Yeah, yeah Russ is on trying it. to do a bit of damage while well, he is though. good for Russ, but Bulby's still lurking in the midst. Oh, wait a minute. You can't be sleeping on this global. Because the fact that Liazzi's got a Vandal is going to be very dangerous for the Lightning Fast, creating a flash. This might wait be the big minute. play, though. Does he the jewel from though? the Viper Global be waiting Viper for, waiting for the jewel? flank. Oh, Liazzi turns around, but it's not going to be in time. That's the Vandal going out of the hands of Furia. Now, Global need to move in together. Havoc, the only man really on site now desperately trying to hide. There's an aerial theft. He's been spotted out. They know the other players are in main. How do you play this out, though? How do you balance this? This main position is so difficult to tackle, but they isolate the fight, throwing in a poison cloud into it. Oh, D oh skills! Stop, Stop it! Really oh, nice round from landing pass and skills on this one. It was just a low by though. The global side. Let's not get too carried away, because that was definitely they a very doable low by on that one. And Global Esports, they survive another round. Now looking to turn the tables on Furia. The economy not in a position to work with here for Furia. They've only got about one or two rounds worth of buy in them. Global. Okay, last time out of the half. Full, victory. full buy coming in from them as well. This was uh, quite a substantial lead from Furia that has just been knocked out. Yeah, and with that, wind out of their lungs. Taking a breath here for sure. Definitely want to take a couple of breaths. Yeah, and this is where they really have to figure out how do we shut down Polby? How do we reactivate? Are they fighting for third? Yeah, third at the moment. Third place. So it's the difference of five thousand dollars to zero, basically. But yeah, technically both teams. For me, it's he can't make it to the grand the final. Zero to, re to relax. Yeah, to keep his confidence, to encourage the team to fight for against Polby. Polby's got very aggressive these last couple of rounds. He's been able to. He's been allowed Furia to. Furia needs Pancada. Bro, I feel like Sentinels down. need a sick anyway. Where you could trap like the, the those guys are defenders. sick more than make sure that you're more than other teams. It feels like that they go for here. Them and Fnatic, the two teams that need six. How they elect to tackle that issue, Polby, being quite a big one. MW Sarah flustered, I think you could say. Yeah. I mean, he's the one expected to do all the showing up, and I think, again, we talk about tempo on this team. <laughs> There's like a whole period of, of, a, of a year where of game, everyone in Fnatic was just getting half, COVID like every other week. Winning, tempo has not been there for Furia. Something to mention for Furia as well is they've had crowds that haven't been on their side. They've had crowds that have always been on their side. They've never had a crowd that has been so loud for the other team. These are young players, remember. This is their first time experiencing that. And that's got away on their psyche. Tarek sick. And there's so many young it stars. It would be pretty fun to watch. Right, so many young stars that yeah. you could say have made their debut into a VCT level here today in India and can grow up, you know, sooner, later, five, ten years in the future. These guys will be our future stars, right? I'm yeah. looking for Fury and specifically here, right? The average age, just under 19. Havoc highly demanded in Brazilian teams? Yeah. 
He used to play Jawless, though. Crazy what these could bring out, but they need, even though they're young, they need to find a way to calm their nerves. And I know how yeah. difficult Am it is without for so much experience. Is this happening? I've happening heard rumors like that it, it's happening in January. Is that like? A lot. So if they're able to show that, <laughs> not, the, not that you lot can, not that you lot are like solid sources, but is that? If there ever was a time to show up, are the I'm rumors true? I guess is what I'm asking. Uh, Gabri Best, thank you so much for the prime. Appreciate the nine months. Thank you very much, dude. They may want to show us their haven, but they've got to get us there first. Thank you for doing that, Gabri. Appreciate it. It takes a lot of maturity for the Fury of players to drown that out. Yeah, absolutely right. It was listed in the off-season event list. Uh, I thought that was said. just the... <laughs> I thought that was like <laughs> the Moist Mogul uh, so we'll, Sentinels. We'll the crowd now. Honestly, I thought that was just one of the other events that happened. Uh, but maybe, down, I, maybe you're right. <laughs> Dude, I'm not sure many teams will want to play that I'll event. I'll hear a very, very loud we'll G fighting, okay? Three. Two, it's, too, it's too close one. to the main season. Hey. I love that. I love that. Are there any Furia fans out there? I wonder. That's it. Right. All right. Doing, doing three, two, one for Furia. Three, two, one. Ah, it's still right. about. It's still about. All right. There's some people supporting it. At the end of the day, this is Valorant, right? We support some good play. That we do, that we do, and we have been given some damn good Valorant today, Pavlos. It has been absolutely incredible. China and Ascension, yeah, I'll watch some of it. I'll definitely watch all the playoffs. The for a third so, map. some of the beginning bit, and then most of the playoffs. Saying that, I haven't got Valorant. the streaming rights yet, I mean, so this hopefully, has actually been a great need to reach out again. You know, where Valorant is heading in India as well, right? Yeah. Not only have we seen global teams make their way onto the stage here and show us what VCT level looks like. They want like to get Shopify well, involved in the Ludwig. That would be fun, in the Ludwig Tarek event. Were actually able Dude, to show why do I struggle to say them. Ludwig? And I think that's a lot of promising signs to be shown because yeah. if you it's think one of those, I don't know, I can't say it fast for some reason. Heretics, like Paper X made the stage I think here. Fury will get booed? Nah, bro. They couldn't quite like that. Right, the old G, the old global esports prior to Fran prior to partnerships, uh, the uh, Enigma, I believe. Yeah. But they, they, there was nowhere near the, the level of competition that could not only go for blow in particular maps, but even win maps off them. Yeah. I think that's very promising for this region. Yeah. And well, I'll have to see if it's going to be even more promising in the remainder of this game. We're going to throw to a quick break. We'll be back in about oh. five minutes or so with the remainder Savage. of this second map. Don't go anywhere. Chat, how long did they say? Okay, let me uh, let me spam some ads. I'm just gonna spam some ads. I'll be back in a little bit. My name is Abir Paltardi, and I'm a consumer for Sobe. Hey, I'm Rust. I'm the IGL and captain of Sobe. My name is Big Time. I'm the assistant coach of Sobe. My name is Paulbe. I'm the dualist for Globalist. My name is Jayan. My in-game name is Kills. I'm standing in for Global Esports as a flex sentiment. And Spin, I'm Coach Anderson. You want to start? Okay, start. Yeah, I'll start. Um, I want to play uh, Furia. Uh, I've never played a Brazilian team in an official before, so this will be my first time, and I like how they play and stuff, so I'm excited to get into it. What to say the same thing? <laughs> Furia. Uh, for me, it's uh, the two games, the first two games which are important, so obviously it's uh, Vitality and Furia. Yeah, I think I'm excited to play against Vitality again. Yeah. Vitality was the team last year, they got the better of this market. Um, so it's definitely nice to have them in the shop. Uh, nice rematch. And you know all the guys from Vitality, so they're all great guys, so they'll be excited to play. Um, I mean, obviously, I want to play against like every single one of them because I haven't played against like the other ones on like big tournaments except Fnatic and Liquid. So those are like my uh, go-to ones, like the Korea, the Brazilian ones. So I'm excited to beat them and uh, face. Uh, same here. I'm looking forward to play against every team because I haven't really faced against 
teams which are from the other from Asia region. So I'm really excited to play Vitality and Fury. I hope we get to play True Rippers because that will mean that we've won our group and they've also won their group and we're getting all India final. Yeah. <laughs>
continuation, of course, of our series. What an insane performance we have had so far for Global to bring things back. And let me remind you, Fury were quite ahead in this map, and Global were able to bring it all back. And we're down to 10-10, I believe, right now. 10 to 10, Pavlos, level pegging in this map. And bear in mind, Furia, they were, I think, 11 5, 11 6 up at one point. So, Global Esports have mounted a hell of a comeback to get here. The question now is can they close it out? Something which South Asian right. has struggled with in the past. Yeah, for sure. Closing out maps can be difficult when you lack the experience. Should I write the score up here? Just, just in case people are down and try yes. to take it Coming in. step by step and isolate the round that you have to take. Yeah. And sort of treat it like any other. And without that experience, it's much difficult to take. But you can see all of these players in this team, in GE, for example, they've had a lot of experience, whether it's one region or another, or in one scene or another. The thing is that they have going for them is this crowd. And I think that's yep. definitely going to help uh -oh. them in closing out this map if it comes to it. Yeah, absolutely. Double right. admin over here. Two minutes before the game Dude, it's always Paul these PC. Pavlos. Before it does, I want to ask you, who do you think is going to be taking this? Are we seeing Haven? Or do you think it gets closed out on Breeze? So do you want a Hopium answer, or do you uh, do you want a realistic answer? I have a feeling I'm about to give the Hopium answer. So let's the see. Hopium answer is that we go to overtime, right? And these yeah. guys have the best fight of their lives yeah. to see who takes it. That would be very cool. Yeah, that's the Hopium answer. And I hope Global takes it, actually, because that means the whole crowd will go wild. Yeah. But if Fury wins, we still win, because we go to a third map. Yeah, it feels like we're in quite a nice position here, Pavlos. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Yeah. That being said, I actually think Global are going to take this. You do? I think, granted, the time out is fine. Yeah, I know both of their coaches yeah, used to watch to like early streams of me. Global esports, they were always uh, they pretty active in chat. They seem to be a bit quicker to get back on the go than Fury are, especially that MW. Kind of when, um, kind of when I did like quiet couple of rounds early of streams when I was doing liquid. It's been fairly lackluster when you compare it to how he did on Sunset. When you compare it to how he did against Vitality yesterday, so. For me, I think if MW Zero and to be honest, the rest of um, Furia, if they're going to have a quiet game here, then this is really going to be a painful couple. Of is rounds. Ross going to be IGL when Benkai is back? Yes. I, as far as we know, yeah. It gets me thinking. Also, who has a better chance of winning off Haven? Right, Global haven't yeah. been able to show us what they've got on that map yet. It's still an unknown entity. Yeah, I've got a lot. Of, yeah, so, that's you know, true, Sheriff. Sure. I've grown like the fifth shout out. At least from what we've seen from Furia. Um, it's it's a map that global. Even if it does end up to be a third one, they can compete. I sh I think Fury. That's a lot of hopium, but maybe who knows? When it comes to Haven. We'll see. Um, and for me, I think that's actually a very very uh, important statistic to take in mind. I think if we go to Haven, we're going to have a game as as close, if not even more close than this one. One hundred percent. Mid round calling should get better with Ben K. Maybe we don't really know. I'm I'm not even sure we've ever really like I know Paper Rex. Paper Rex had such a unique play style where they never really had to like cancel too much and actually play. Like they play so weird that I'm not even sure I, we know how Ben K is as a caller. So I'm not sure. I can't take too much from it really. And some cream. Yeah, Free, from, yeah Ex cream cream. exactly. It's, yeah. Like, it's like we were born to be here, Pablos. Mm. <laughs> we cool They're only super here. aggressive on this now, map, so I think it's just how they view this map. I think on this map, they feel like they have to be very yeah, like, hyper. hyper. It right? It's a long rotate, so getting information is like pretty important. Famously enough, in the grand final of Superdome, they lost to Leviathan on that map. And let's be honest, Leviathan is on a different level. Yeah, look, I don't think that was so much. Oh, Sheriff, you were meant to go, bro. I didn't feel like that was oh, a man. bad game from Furia. That looked to me That's more brutal. like an incredible game from Leviathan. And actually, what I want to mention from that series against Leviathan, Pavlos, was that MW Zera, he was popping off. He did well. It's just matching Aspas is really where they struggled. And once again, it was that Operator Duel that MW Zera still won against Aspas, but it was the momentum where MW Zera actually fell short. So. <laughs> For me, I can't help but think that for um, for the rest of this map, bear in mind oh. that when it comes to those actual Oi, operation duels, chat, they didn't mean die with that one. Winning them. It's just the I thought that was like a the advantage. So what you're trying segue to say into the game is that if G beat Furia on Haven, since Aspas greater than MW Zera, that means Polvi greater than MW Zera. No, it's since MW Zera greater than Aspas on Haven, then that means Polvi greater than Aspas. That was a lot of ifs and thens and what this means. I'm going to take it that Polvi is better because I can. 
Yeah. I can do that. What I also can oh. do is throw us to a break, because unfortunately we're not quite ready yet. So sorry for trolling you on that one. We'll be back. We'll be back very shortly. Don't go anywhere. We'll grab a sneak, snack, and a drink, and we'll be back as soon as we can. Another filler. Oh. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, oh no. <laughs> we were almost doing so good, like honestly. We'd had a, in terms of this, we had a pretty successful day, but I might have to retire the standing up stream and sit down, to be honest. <laughs> it's a lot easier when there's stuff going on. TDM, dude, I can't do another TDM. I can't get banned again, bro. I can't just leave a TDM. I've left free in the space of 24 hours. The expectations are the same. We came here to win and bring back the trophy to Brazil. And when it comes to the culture, it's kind of different with the culture that we see in Brazil. And talking about the food, we are not that used to the spicy food, but we are just trying to adjust. But the overall thing is good, the experience is good. It's true that there are good things, but somehow there are... You have a link clip from Spike Nation? Ah, dude, I can't show it, but that sounds incredible. How many did he get? Uh, I put you post my spot. You can link it, I can watch it on my second monitor though. Wait, he gets four? Ah, oh, yeah, link me this. Let's hope this doesn't go mainstream. <laughs> Man's out here doing one A is in mid air. How many coffees do I have? I don't drink coffee, bro. <laughs> Not, I just don't like the taste of coffee, really. I tried to. I, I was working in... Um, I was working in America a lot and tried to, and like everyone, like DDK and Bardolf and stuff would always drink coffee and have like coffee breaks. And I was like, man, I'll try it. And I just can't, I just don't like the taste. It's not for me. Seems like a tea guy. I don't even like tea, dude. I just don't like any hot drinks. Apart from hot chocolate, hot chocolate's banging. So talking about haters, actually we don't have that much of haters, but whenever they have, it's like, the haters are fueling us, helping us to move No wonder you drink salt water for headaches, bro, it's, I'm telling you. I've never, again, this, that's a lie. I was going to say I've never had a te headache that, longs long, that lasts longer than 10 minutes, but I'm telling you. <laughs> salt water, down in some salt water when you have a headache is kind of legit. These guys have been trying to fix... Is it the headset? Is that what it is? I'm British and I don't like tea? Yeah. It's not for me, man. Yeah, I have Darkling. That's how I was trying to get into coffee, but it didn't work. the M and W... And Zera is because uh, it's actually one of the legend name back in Brazil. So I really love him, so because of that he took the name. Welcome. Oh, my name is my name is Naruto. <laughs> My name is uh, actually one of the characters in Naruto. O meu é literalmente por causa do meu sobrenome. Chaiti, I mean that's it's okay. Him is because of actually his name. I, d I just I don't know. There's something about hot drinks. It's just I don't. I would I would always go for a cold drink over a hot drink. Is it one one? It's one nil and ten ten in the map. 
Child, let me do one minute of ads just in case this lasts longer. Staying nimble and focused, ready to take on any challenge. We got this. Stylish outside, savage inside. Lenovo Legion. About to resume. Okay. I'm believing you. What is the time? So, still relatively early today, that's not too bad. Yeah, these events are long though. These events are taking it out of me. Is it time for the match? Yeah, fine for the match. England will be doing best this. Thanks, Pablos. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this game. Of course, it's currently 10 to 10 between Furia and Global Esports. We have Thank had God a... I have you, man. Thanks, what would man. I do without glad, you? glad to be here. We have had a brief tech pause. However, we should be back underway momentarily. Give us a minute or two just to get everything set up for your yeah. lovely eyes to feast this lovely game. So I'll tell you what, Pablos, it is being a banger. Yeah, it gives us a chance to tune in everybody who hasn't been on the stream for a while and yeah. just, you know, got on and just doesn't want to know what's going on. Still on Breeze? Breeze yeah. 10 10 yeah, we're still on Breeze. 10-10. Ten, ten. Where Global against Furia happy competing. You played two so TDMs, honestly. Enough, Smart guy. If you've just joined, you'll also want to find out that Global is ahead a map in the series, and Furia is struggling a bit because they've had a few rounds where they <laughs> Mr. Fallon, what's up, bro? Win. What's up? Yeah, maybe up one map, Pavlos, but let's see if it's Congrats as well. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together. Let's, let's hope tomorrow is a little bit smoother. Tied up with Uria. 10 to 10. Today Going was smoother than yesterday, round, though, which says a lot. For global e one away from the Hunter's kind of tired, yeah. I was actually just saying that now. Okay, so 10 10. We're back into this. And this, this trip. Pavlos. It's going to be a quick pass. And Wait, Wait they're wrecked. Oh. No way, bro. 5 HP, still alive. Look at the hold from these two. The delay was too good. They struggled breaking the trip. No one else could really send it out. My, oh, my, Skills got two. Global Esports. It's at the final hurdle that they take the Bro, lead. if they win they this with a stand-in, two more. Here, oh, my goodness. That's actually worrying signs for Furia. I mean that in, in no disrespect, but no one, no one with their full Back lineup should be losing to a stand-in. Oh, no. Points. Oh, no, Matt Fury are in trouble. Series point, Pablo. Fury are in, are in such big trouble. Yeah, they really, they really are in big trouble. Plays King one away. Once again, set up for another fast hit over to this B site. Okay, it's the, it's the call of. Uh, oh, it's the call of. Uh, yeah, this failed so badly, so let's try it again. And honestly, the setup from GE actually looked a little bit stronger, to be honest. This is an eco round. This is to be expected to be a 12th round, but if you make it in a dominating fashion, Paper X uh, cigarettes. Honestly, yeah, CGRS um, is an anomaly. Pavlos, look where the spike is. Global Esports have all the control really they can it. ever possibly want. For Furia, how do you try and circumnavigate this? Yeah. How do you even begin to, to retrieve that spike without having to combat all five GE members? The answer is you can't. At least in my eyes. Blaze King would there. love a kill here. Like, I actually think this this is still pretty important because Blaze Blaze King would love a kill more than anything else. Oh no! Adding insult to injury. 
I would actually let Blaze King. I would drop the gun and just run at them. I know that sounds mad, but it's so worth him getting a kill here. I would drop the gun and run at them. Okay. So, but at least for Fury, they didn't get the. Uh, didn't get the solo. This feels like a fever dream, Pablos. This is not Global Esports looking to win a map, which I, if before this tournament, a map would have been celebrated. No, Pablos, this is 2-0 that they may be going for against one of the best in South America. Okay, the two advantage. chances. Level for the two time. chances to end this in a 2-0. Viper all. Fury. The only difference here is that Holby well, has yeah, that one away operator. Either. Yeah, Paul, we tried to go for an aggro play over towards the top here. He's been picked off. Oh, oh my goodness. They were like literally ready for it. One. The most the perfect thing. If this wall drops at the right time though. Can't go through because the cage is going to give the heads up. There goes half of their chances. Bullet to the side of the head. Skills collects it at least. Drive by by MW Zera. Okay, two Atlanta. down to one last chance. What do they got? Silver all on attack. For GE, they have the money to reinvest. But for Furia, MW Zera, he's just shown signs of life. The death rattle is going to escape the lips of Furia as they bring that operator back. To be fair, it was GE that brought the fight to Furia that last time around, so... Double up. Okay, this is a backup up. No so he has, he, he has what, three of them. Yeah, but they're all buying backup. So backup up, backup up, and then they have another gun next to them. And with the operators, <laughs> it's exactly how they're going to do that. MW0, no matter what angle he takes it, he is having to peek into another scoped weapon. Good reposition there. <laughs> Lovely bay out on that one. Holy, that was nice. Russ isn't going to pick up the op though, right? Can't even retrieve this. That's twice in overtime that probably goes down though as well. That was a nice peek though. Oh, I didn't get a kill. They get a plant down, and it's a good viper. Oh, where he can hide over towards here. I mean, you would say this is okay. Still a three and three. This is really hard, though. Oh, sorry, three v four. The round the world is just the, the round the world with the backup flank as well. Oh, what a shot! Okay, chat. This goes over time. He saw him, surely. He can see him. Okay, nice shots from Kaleo in this right. The two chances are fully gone. Fully gone. Okay, Understood. Yeah, sometimes you get to talk about it. Zero chances. What is that going to suggest for the tempo of these teams? Difficult one, isn't it? I don't know, it felt like Global Esports might have been overcomplicated the past couple of rounds, right? Feels like Furia should have been under pressure points, but no. The eagerness to close this map out maybe got to them a little bit. Maybe. I like the, I like the thought process of the three operators, but you can't underestimate NW Zero. You can't, <laughs> you can't think you could just hold an angle <laughs> and just love with him, a bro. straight battle with him. <laughs> especially after shooting at a player who was jump spotting. So smart for MW Zero to just wait for that shot to be taken. And 
uh, that's exactly what happened. Successful in doing so. A lot of messages out there. I'm trying to read them all, but Russ ain't know. rusty. <laughs> I, was that Paul Vereen? Some actually pretty, pretty clever messages. <laughs> Something I want to mention as well, Pavlos, is yeah. the is the frag separation on uh, Global Esports. Players team with 18. Russ with op and op. Do they go for the attack op? Over time, attack op. However, we're seeing glass cannons from both operator players. MW0 versus Paul V. The jewel of the jewel of Titans is going to reach its crescendo now in overtime. Revealing area. Paul V on fences. It's simple. It's clear. He's been outed a couple of times the past few. Wants to make sure he has the final say. Who wouldn't? Yeah, and they were really expected uh, MW0 to kind of just peek this with the off because he has been late peeking into A main. That's nice though, that's one trip down. So they can like fake a B hit. Peek with the op and hope they can get a rotate and then potentially cancel. Is the plan? Yeah, and look at this rotate, and they are all over it. Polvi is walking out of A main with the op. How many players are here for the defense of Furia? Quite a lot. Three to be precise. MW0 still causing issues on the back line. Blaze oh, they're sending it for MW0 here. If he can Coda get another one, he's just nowhere. on the round. Lovely shot. Lovely round guy. from him and overtime four. My yeah, they just carried on facing him. The call came in to cancel the A hit as well eventually. And what a time to do it in overtime nonetheless. To be able to get that with the operator on the rotation, then when he's being pressured, and then with the blade storm as well. If that doesn't show prowess, I don't know what will. G needs to bring out resilience. They're going to be hitting themselves after this one if they don't manage to close it out. They had two round opportunities for them. Okay, Povey defense off. Waits for the flash. Damn, bro, how much HP is he on now? Wait. Sorry, I wasn't mentioned here is that for the that attack weird. actually, MW Zero hasn't brought out an operator and it's like he took loads of HP, but Ooh, I think the other one just, just the decay. Depleted before checking elbow, so I don't think there's enough information here for GE to go about. Apart from the push from Polby, obviously. Oh, that is such a big kill. B split. Skills has to somehow get two. Lining fast. Similar story. I mean, this guy has to get three. Okay, that is it done, chat. Third map, Haven. Unless Russ and Polby can do something about it. All teammates now reunited under global. Can this be done? Wary of Khalil's whereabouts. You've got so many you've got to deal with. You're being played around with peaks over and over again, different directions. And the time is ticking. You've got to go in, rush that one. How much more can you find? Slowly trying to clear out. Vandal brought out maybe a better weapon for this situation. Furia not giving them an inch. And okay, damn, bro, they had two the chances. They had two the chances American, for this Haven coming up. Resilience. 